Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys aren't new around here, my name is Divyanka and I'm a doctor of pharmacy here in the US. On this channel, I strive to provide you guys with as many resources as possible to help build your ideal professional life. As I've talked about in a lot of my videos, I work in the pharmaceutical industry as an industry pharmacist, and along the way, I have realized that there are some things that are very, very important. Now, one of those things is soft skills, and soft skills are necessary everywhere in life, but today, I wanna highlight 10 specific soft skills that are needed in the pharmaceutical industry. If you're looking to work in the pharmaceutical industry or if you're looking to improve your career or wherever you are in your process, I hope this list of 10 soft skills helps you in some way to improve your career. Number one is communication. And this is hands down the most important soft skill again in life, but definitely in a career within the pharmaceutical industry. Everything from daily work to emails, to messaging, to figuring out how to solve problems, to figuring out what work you need to do, to maneuvering the workspace, literally everything is based on communication. If you get on the right foot with someone while communicating with them in an interview, it'll probably go a lot better. And then you're gonna end up getting the job. And then while you're in the role, if you can communicate efficiently to your manager, to your colleagues, to executives, to anyone in your project teams, your life and your work will be a lot better and the impression you give to other people externally will be a lot better. Professionally, you'll be treated better, you'll get more opportunities, people will see you as very knowledgeable and communicative. There's a lot of benefits to being able to communicate efficiently. This, of course, is a skill, but it is a very, very important skill. One that we should all work on always, and if this is something you haven't worked on intentionally, then it is about time to. Like I mentioned, every aspect of work within the pharmaceutical industry definitely Definitely, definitely depends on communication and the better you are at it the better every situation is going to be for not only yourself but for everyone involved so it is in your best interest to really work on the soft skill of communication to again not only land jobs but succeed in your career in the pharmaceutical industry next relationship building and networking we've all heard the n-word networking and i'm sure we all despise it to some level but we all know how important it is and this is something that's never going to go away Again, it's how the world works. If you know someone, if you are able to build some kind of relationship with them, network with them, you will naturally have a better human experience with them. And in the workspace, what that translates to is better working environments, better working relationships, less problems, more efficient working, and so, so much more. That's why small talk and things like that are important. You need to get lunch with your colleagues. You need to get to know them outside of the exact work you're doing. That skill set and knowing how to build those relationships professionally is very, very important. And this is why you see people succeed as they network within the industry. Naturally, you're going to be working better with someone who you have a good relationship with. So people who are able to network and build these relationships will just naturally go further in their careers. So again, it is in your best interest to develop these soft skills with relationship building, get yourself out there, network with as many people as you can, and really force yourself into these situations until it becomes pseudo natural. And once you start doing this, you'll naturally see the benefits of doing this your own life will become easier communication becomes easier work becomes easier everything becomes more fun there's a lot of benefits to relationship building even in the workspace so again this is something that you need to be intentional about and it does help a lot next creative problem solving now notice how i didn't just say problem solving in the pharmaceutical industry specifically you're always at the forefront of something new so not only is your experience important and the way that you can solve a problem but also that creativity matters looking at a problem and being able to come up with a solution that maybe hasn't been done before requires all kinds of soft skills it requires technical skills of course but it also requires all the other things that you do in life and this is why it helps being a very well-rounded person. If you have experiences from volunteering somewhere or from helping out at a kid's camp or from coaching, 
Those are the types of skills that really come into play in these situations and help you come up with those solutions. So this is very, very important. Like I mentioned, I've probably in every situation, in every work project situation, something unforeseen has come up. And I've noticed every solution to that is not straightforward. It is someone coming up with a more creative approach. And again, that takes much more than just scientific technical skills. So these are things you can build by getting involved in general, by being again, well-rounded, by making sure you're surrounded by all types of different people in all types of different situations. And those skills will naturally build on themselves. Next, teamwork and conflict resolution. This goes hand in hand with relationship building, but there will always be problems. You need to understand how to work with a team, how to compromise, how to come to conclusions, how to work with people to come to one unanimous decision. These are all things that, again, you're going to deal with on a daily basis. Every single project has a team. You're not just going to be working singularly ever. And naturally, because the world isn't perfect, conflicts will arise. Now, whether that's differences in opinion based on the problem at hand or whether that's just more and more problems at hand because of reasons outside of your control, there's always going to be something and there will always be conflicts. So being able to again maneuver that in the most peaceful way possible and actually work as a team and make sure you come to solutions and actually finish deliverables as a team is very important. Being a team player as I'm sure you have experienced is important in a lot of different realms and so again getting involved and having those experiences but specifically professionally over and over and over again will really help you build these soft skills but again there needs to be some intention there in realizing where in a team you might not have done your best job and what you could do next time and really improving on those skills. Next, empathy. Empathy is something that goes a long way and is something that I think isn't talked about enough, especially in the workplace, in a stressful environment where there are deliverables, things are due, things need to get done. Having empathy for other people, other people's situations. In the pharmaceutical industry, of course, patients. But beyond that, the general everyday people you work with, your colleagues, your managers, your executives, is very important. What I hear a lot is people generally don't like those professionals who are very stuck in their ways, who just need something when they need it and they don't look at what others are going through. So you don't wanna be that person. Again, even professionally. So what that means is you are aware of others' needs. Professionally, you are communicating deadlines, you're communicating changes. You're being empathetic and showing that through being mindful of other people's time, of other people's energy, knowing that other people have other things to do as well. They have a life outside of work and still getting work done. Again, having that perspective is going to make your professional life a lot easier and will make it better because once you start showing that to other people, you will get it back in return. And that again is great for relationship building, is great for the work environment. It all comes full circle. So empathy is very, very important. The next soft skill to exude in the pharmaceutical industry is reliability. The pharmaceutical industry is a very fast paced work environment and there's a lot happening at once and everyone has different responsibilities and you just have to understand what it means to be a reliable working professional. You have responsibilities and if you don't act upon them, if you don't do them, then no one can rely on you, work will never get done and you will not survive in any role within the pharmaceutical industry. This isn't about doing your responsibilities, it's about being reliable in every sense not only getting your work done, but communicating where things fall through, keeping people updated, being a reliable source of information in every way, even operationally, even administratively. Every role has a piece of all those things, even executives. So again, being the reliable professional will not only help you succeed in your career, but everyone around you will feel a lot better working with you. This is very, very important, not only to get work done, but to have a peaceful environment and to let other people trust you. So you can naturally imagine how important it is to be a reliable working professional. Next, time management. Although you're working in teams within the pharmaceutical industry, a lot of the work is still done independently. You still have a lot of responsibility that you have no oversight for. And again, you're always racing the clock. There's always a timeline, a deadline, a something you're going against. So you have to understand your own capability and understand where you need to put your priorities, how you need to manage your time 
to actually get the things you need to get done, to have a life outside of work, to be successful in both, to do it all. This is a working skill. As your responsibilities, as your life situation changes, your time management skills will change and improve. And of course, this is situational, but this is something, again, you have to be mindful of. You have to give good time estimates. You have to understand how much time something is going to take you. Everyone around you is going to be good at time management or should be at least, and you need to be one of those people. The pharmaceutical industry allows for a very flexible lifestyle and you can really do what you need in life as long as you get your work done. But if you can't manage your time, that work is never going to get done and you're just going to feel frustrated in general. So time management is extremely important, not only again to make sure that your work deliverables are delivered on time, but to make sure everything fits into the puzzle correctly. Time management is essential and will help you grow and work well in your career, in your role. So again, just ultimately necessary. Next, stress management. Like I mentioned, the pharmaceutical company is a very, very fast paced world. And that's absolutely great for getting challenged at work, for being at the forefront of science, for growing incredibly fast as a professional, as a company, as a team, and for being involved in cutting edge science. But you need to understand how to manage your own stress so that it doesn't actually impact your work and make it a negative thing for you. Too much of anything is a bad thing. And if you stress about work, if it gives you stress and then you stress about it outside of work, you're always going to be in that mindset. And that's just too much work. So managing stress is a very, very personal thing. But if you don't understand how to manage it yourself, it will start to transcend your personal life and get into your professional life and make things a lot harder for you and probably make you not as fun of a person to work with. So this is definitely one of the more personal things, but working on this is going to make your own working professional life a lot better and you will actually be able to perform at your best when you need to, when you can, because you know how to, again, manage those stressful times. Next, flexibility and adaptiveness. Within the industry, there are changes that are happening every single day. Even in my role, there are decisions that are made and then the next day, there's a completely different decision. So being able to adapt to those changes and still work at your best is a very, very necessary soft skill. The world, the working world, the professional pharmaceutical world is not unilateral. Things are not just going to happen as they should. And more often they don't. So understanding that and being able to maneuver that, but still work, still get your deadlines done, still work with what's manageable, doing all of that and being flexible with it, not complaining about it, not getting hung up on things is a very, very important skill. This will not only help your team move forward, but again, it'll help kind of remove yourself from it. You'll take work a little less personally and you will be a very great professional to work with because you do want to work with people who are adaptive, who can just go with the flow and still perform at their best. Next and the last soft skill that we are going to touch upon that you need in the pharmaceutical industry are leadership skills. Now, leadership is a work in progress for everyone always. But this is something that unless you're intentional about, very, very intentional about, you will not get good at. This is something that I speak from experience with because I always thought I wasn't a leader. I never thought of myself as a leader. And because I had that cloud in my head, I never worked on it. And once I started to, I saw that, you know, Everyone has their own leader tendencies in different ways. And in the professional world, as you get promoted, as you are working on projects, at some point, those leadership skills need to be there, especially if you want to grow in the industry, if you want to shine through, if you really want to perform your best. Just having good technical skills, a good scientific background, being able to do work well isn't enough. If there's a problem and there's no leader, then that problem is never going to get solved. If you can't lead your own projects, your own work, you will come across issues and problems that can be avoided. So this is something that you can work on very intentionally, whether it's leadership workshops, whether it's asking your manager for more responsibility so that you can actually step into the role of a leader, whether it's naturally speaking up a little more in meetings or taking a little more initiative on things. These are little things that can really help you grow as a leader along the way. And you can start doing this even one on one. If you want to start mentoring a person, if you want to start mentoring a student or an intern and really take them under your wing and 
experiment with that one person and then see how that goes. There's so many tactics to do this, but it is again, very, very essential to at least grow in the industry, to grow in your career, to become a better seasoned professional. Those were 10 soft skills you need in the pharmaceutical industry to really have a fruitful and successful career and to be the type of professional everyone wants to work with. I know it's a lot to think about and look at, so don't try to work on everything at once. Really just take one part of these soft skills, work on it for a little bit of time until it's natural, and then go on to the next. If you take too much on, you'll be overwhelmed and you will never improve these skills. But over time, as you take small bites of each chunk of these soft skills and really work on them, improve on them, you will 100% see a difference, not only in yourself, but in your work, in your relationships at work, and everything in your profession life. I hope this was helpful for those of you out there who needed this list for whatever reason, even if it's just for knowledge. Again, I think these skills transcend the pharmaceutical industry, but I explained why they're specifically, of course, important in this industry. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys thought this video was helpful at all, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you have not already for more helpful videos like this. If you guys have any other soft skills that you think are important, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to read that. I would love to respond to you guys and continue this conversation. It is an ever-growing learning curve for both you and I. That is it for me today. Thank you guys again so much for sticking around and you guys will of course see me in the next video. Mm -hmm.